Hey guys, this is TG934, and um, hold on, let me get rid of, there you go, oh, uh, okay, so right now, uh, right now I'm just playing an animation that quiz number 4 and 5 had came out, and right now what you guys seeing is a skit that Odeon and Ishizu were playing the quiz, Cool. Oh no. Huh. Oh, well, hold on, guys. Close running apps. Oh, come on. Don't give me that now. Hold on, guys. Really? Oh, hold on. It's enough. I hate this. Hold on. Oh, okay, now we're good. So, today... They finally opened the last duelist challenge, and I'm going to show you both parts 4 and 5. So, expect some stuff to happen. Survey on the tag duel. Yeah, I'm not ready for a survey. Um, anyway. I'll show you guys how to do part 4. Or, um, part 4 of the challenge. And part 5. Uh, I already completed as you see right here. I already collected my Dark Hunter. So, uh, basically, I'll show you what cards consist of and what combos you had to make. Apparently, l number four was the freaking easiest out of, I think, the second or third one. Uh, of the quizzes. Okay, so basically you have Dark Magician as your opponent's monster. And you have your own Dark Magician team. Magician's Rod, Dark Magician Girl, and Ancient Rules. So, you don't have to worry about what your opponent has. It says right here, One Shot Wand that's been equipped to Dark Magician. So there's three copies of One Shot Wand. That's attached to your opponent's Dark Magician. And it says it gains 800 attack. If this monster attack or is damaged, uh, you can destroy this card. And if you do, destroy one card. So, basically, you don't have to worry about Dark Magician. You could easily plow through. And also, you also have your list of cards. You have your Dark Magician, of course. Your Sage Stone. Dark Magic Attack. And Thousand Knives. And also you have a legion, the fiend Chester. Um, what he does, if you send this card to the graveyard, you could search out one spellcaster type normal monster from your deck or graveyard and add it to your hand. Uh, and also it has a special ability. During the main phase, you could tribute summon one spellcaster monster in face up attack position in addition to your normal summon or set. So, you can basically replace Legion Fiend Jester and still make an additional normal summon. So, for example, it's okay to normal summon twice this turn and only this turn. Also, you need to be able to search out a spell card uh, so that way you can use a special ability that one of your opponents has. Let me see. So, what do we do here? What do we do? When this card... Oh, Magician's Rod's ability says, When this card is normal summoned, you can add one spell trap from your deck to your hand. Then, specifically... 
list the cards, uh, that card, Dark Magician, in the text. During your opponent's turn, if you activate a spell or trap while this card is in your graveyard, blah, 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 you can choose one spellcaster monster, add this card to your hand. Okay, so basically, um, what this quiz number four does, you need to be able to special some Dark Magician in order to use one of Dark Magician's special uh, card tech cards. And the one you really need is a Thousand Knives. Now, let me tell you how it is. You just need to worry about the opponent's Dark Magician. Destroying Dark Magician itself will destroy the rest of the one-shot wand, so you guys don't have to worry about it. Plus, you can basically make two normal summons, a search for a spell card, a search for Dark Magician, and you already have Ancient Rules in your hand to let you special summon a level 5 normal monster or higher. So, let's do it. Normal summon Ancient Rod. Oh, I'm sorry, Magician's Rod. Activate his effect. Collect 1,000 knives or 1,000 knives spell card. This will force you uh, to help you in battle to destroy your opponent's Dark Magician. Normal summon. Tribute Legion the Fiend Jester. And then activate Legion the Fear Jester's effect, or the Fiend Jester's effect, to help you search out a Dark Magician from your deck. And then activate Ancient Rules from your hand. And then special summon your Dark Magician. Okay. Now, this is very important. The last step is really fucking simple. You need to have Magician's Rod, Dark Magician Girl, and Dark Magician in order to give you the battle damage of 6,400. Or in this case, 6,400 attack damage or attack battle damage. Then the next piece of your last card is Thousand Knives. Activate Thousand Knives because you have a Dark Magician on your side of the field. You can destroy one face of monster your opponent controls. And basically, we're going to target its Dark Magician. Destroying him and destroying the rest of his field, uh, uh, field equip spells. And because you already have a Dark Magician in the graveyard, Dark Magician Girl's ability, she gains a 300 attack boost. This way, she can actually give you more damage instead of just uh, uh, 61,000 damage. So with that, it's game. You just continue the battle. Whittle down the attack points. Bump. And game. And that's how you win the quest 4. So that's quiz 4, guys. Alright. And then after that, you should be able to get your first Dark Hunter. Okay, now quiz number 5. Final challenge. I saved the last... Oh, I'm sorry. I saved the best for the last. I doubt you... Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Ah. I doubt you need any more hints since you made it this far. Unleash the power of Exodia, the Forbidden One. Are you fucking kidding me? Exodia? Why is it? Oh, Lord. So, the final challenge, number five, may be a little bit challenging than the rest, but I'm going to read the card's effect and make some misplays here and there and see if I can pull it out. But basically, in order to you, in order for you to use the for Exodia, the Forbidden One's ability... You need to have all Exodia pieces to your hand, regardless. So, oh, cool. Oh, that's awesome. So, basically, we're playing with Dark Worlds. And Necrofear. And Exodia pieces, I think. Let me see. We have Dark Necrofear. Some of the Fiend monsters. And the Dark World. What else am I reading? We also have Dark World Lightning, and the rest of the Forbidden One pieces. So the objective is to make sure we can draw power. 
Uh, target one set card on the field, destroy that target, and then discard one card. Now let's check your opponent's side of the field. Holy crap, 9,999? What the fuck? Okay, why is there light points at OP? Anyway, um, five headed dragon and dark coffin. When this card is destroyed since the graveyard, your opponent selects one and executes one of the following effects. Discard one random card in their hand. Select one monster on the side of the field and destroy it. What the fuckery am I working with? Anyway, let me see. So we have Trance Archfiend, uh, Huntsman Dark World, Unlight the Dark World, and Guru of the Dark World. And one piece of Exodia, Forbidden One, the head. And the Dark Necrofear. So Dark Necrofear's effect, you need to be able to special summon her by banishing three fiend types from your graveyard. And if you don't, well, you're gonna have to deal with it. And also, during the end phase of this card, is in the grave because it was struck by opponent's card this turn, uh, or by battle or by card effect, and sent to your graveyard while it was a monster card under your control. Target one face of monster upon control, so equip this card to that card, uh, to that target. While this card is equipped to a monster, take control of that monster. Okay, so we're either trying to overpower my opponent, or we're getting screwed over, huh? What does it say? Tribute one face up level eight or higher monster you control. Draw two cards. Oh, cool. So basically, we're going to have to use our monster special abilities. Um, let's see. If this card is described by the graveyard, you're supposed to summon this card from your graveyard to your opponent's the field and face up defense position. When this card is supposed to summon the effect, your opponent must describe one card. Well, if this card is discarded by a card effect, it was, if it was discarded to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can target one monster to your opponent's graveyard, and one dog from your deck to your hand, so to summon that target and face a defense position. What? Oh, okay. So, this card is not useful at the moment. Okay, what else? If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, draw one card plus another card if this was discarded by... Wait, what? Draw one card plus another card if this was discarded from your hand to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect. Okay, so basically, we got a normal this card, Archmean. All right. Now, notice the deck list. You need to be able to draw out Dark Lightning. Or Dark World Lightning. If you don't, then you're kind of screwed. Uh, random card. That's some shit, though. Hold on. Oh, man. Hold on. Discard one second. Feel to destroy the target and then discard one card. Huh. I guess we'll have to be lucky then. Okay, activate this card's effect. Trans Archmage's effect. You can discard a Fiend monster. And if you do, you gain 500 at the end of this turn. Uh, let's see. Activate. Um, let me see. If this card is discarded... Oh, okay. Let me see. Donald says from your opponent... Uh, from the graveyard to your opponent's in the field. Uh, just your opponent must discard a card. You can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard. Add one target. Um... Oh, okay, so basically you're going to have to use Trans Archeron's effect, discard Ceruli. Effect activates. Here we come. I special summon a monster. And then Guru's effect, you discard another card. You can discard Huntsman. Oh, okay. Target one sec card. Uh, 
when this car is uh, destroyed, I'm gonna... Oh, cool. I know what to do now. Let me see. Oh, okay, so I'm supposed to do something about it. Activate. Snow's ability activates. Oh, that took a while. Uh, let me see. It's better somehow. Banish. Okay. Right. Special summon a monster. And then we should be able to draw our last two cards. I think I did it? Hold on. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try another one. Hold on. Okay, so what I failed to notice was that I was supposed to do a special, a special tactic where I'm supposed to collect all the pieces of Exodia. So I misplayed right here. Hold on. You know, I'm summon it. Hmm. We're supposed to use this card to fact. Gotcha, okay, I figured it out. Activate, oh, hold on. Activate Trance Archman's effect. Discard Cerule, Guru of the Dark World. And Cerule's effect, it'll force you to discard a card. So you would need to discard Snow of the Dark World. This way, you could search out using Snow's ability to t for a Dark World spell card or trap. I believe. Uh, you can discard. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah, a Dark World card from your deck. Now, this should leave you with just the rest of the Exodia pieces to collect. Now, the final turn. Uh, discard one random card. Just target one set card and field destroy the target then just got one card. Huh. Draw one card plus another this card was discarded. Point card effect. I'm not sure. Hold on. Activate it. Okay, then how do I... 
Hold on, I think I misplayed here. Hold on, what did I do wrong? Oh, wow. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again, and I have to misplay a lot. So, what I noticed is I was not playing the best out of the hand. And I know how to do it now. It's just difficult. Um... On this card, you control destroyed to search the graveyard. Control one of your banished monsters out that to your hand. Okay, hold on. We sum this card right, but here's the thing though: snow and brow. Snow and brow. They have an ability where if they get discarded by a card effect, you can draw another card plus another. Uh, if this card was described by your hand by opponent's card effect. Now, that's the hard part. Um, hmm. Let me see. If this card is described by your card effect, if you describe from your hand to the gate, but, uh, you can target one of your opponent. Oh, okay. So there's, so I don't have to worry about that. Huh. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, I okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Activate. Transfer screens. We don't have to activate the other fact for snow. So discard her. Search for a spell card. Ah, my thoughts exactly. Okay, that makes sense. And then we could do the draw power. Scar one card. Okay, just destroy that card. Send. This card to the graveyard? No, that wouldn't make sense. Um, send this card to the graveyard. Send Cerulli to the graveyard. Discover on hand. Oh, God. Draw one more hand. Oh, okay, guys. I figured it out. I, I'll be right back. I'll be right back with a fresh new one. Okay, guys. Sorry for recapping. This is probably my fourth try. So, I kind of figured out how to fix this issue. And what my dumbass did not comprehend was that I was supposed to discard uh, the last fiend monster on the field. So here's the right order that I figured out how to do it. So so here's the idea. Normal summon Trent's Archfiend automatically. Activate his effect. Use Trent's Archfiend's effect to discard snow. Get your Dark World Lightning from your from your deck, thanks to Snow's ability. Okay. Then activate Dark World Lightning to destroy the set card um, Dark Coffin. And then you use the Cerulean's uh, ability to force your opponent to control Guru of the Dark World. Come on. Now, what happens is that it creates a chain. Your the trap card that you destroyed, coffin. You basically select one monster on 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 your side of the field. Uh, you basically force your opponent to select, um, your a monster that you control and send it to the graveyard or destroy it. So I force myself to destroy your archerine. Then Guru of the Dark World's ability activates. I'll discard Brow Huntsman of the Dark World. And then activate Huntsman's ability to let me draw two more cards. Now here's the kicker. I get to special summon Dark Necrofear. 
by banishing three monsters or fiend types. And then the final touch. I special summon a monster. I activate my face down card. I activated events draw. So we can actually complete the summoning of Exodia. Because you weren't just dueling me. You were dueling a whole team. My buddies always have my back. And that's basically how you finish the last duel. So let me go over something real quick. I misplayed a lot. Because one, I just noticed the game card effect was very obvious. Um, so basically, you want to normal summon Trent's Archbeam, use that ability to discard snow from your hand, to use snow's effect to help you search out for a Dark World Lightning from your deck, use that card to destroy a Dark Coffin, and discard Cerule's ability. Now, this creates a chain. Cerule activates when it got discarded from your card effect. And it will special summon to itself to, to the other side while Dark Coffin's effect kicks in. You will want to choose the second ability. Select one monster on their side of the field and destroy it. Which means you get to force your opponent to say, Hey, I want my opponent to do this. Destroy uh, one, one monster on his side of the field and, and we're good. And then Cerulean's effect kicks in. Um, so here's what's going to resolve. Dark Coffin resolves after you send your Trance Archbeam. And then you get to have your opponent special summon Zeruli to their side of the field. And then Guru's effect kicks in. Once you get special summoned by its own card effect, you would have to discard Brow the Huntsman. Brow's uh, ability... You can use Zeruli's effect as if your opponent activated for himself. But really, you just use a card effect to let him special summon and let his effect kick in. Allowing you to play Brawl's effect to let you draw two more cards from your deck. Now you're down to like, what? Um, two more pieces of the Exodia? So now, you're going to have to special summon Necrofear from your hand. By banishing three monsters, such as Brow, Trent's Archfiend, and Snow, send them, the, uh, send them to the Banish Zone, special summon your Dark Necrofear, and then activate Advanced Draw. So you basically send your Dark Necrofear to let your special, uh, I'm sorry, to let you draw two more cards. And after that, you should be able to collect the rest of the Exodia pieces. So this is basically you getting the draw power for of your Exodia pieces when you have only the head of Exodia in your hand. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And after you guys get through this, you should be able to collect the last and final reward of completing the challenge quizzes. Awesome. Alright guys, so after this, I'll be doing more duels and trying to see if I can complete the last, uh, the last of the final round of the Master Rank. I'll see you guys the next episode.